and Blender 4.2 is almost out and it looks like it will come with a new improved version of EV render engine which is EV Next. EV Next features tons of new options but one option that everyone is really excited about is ray tracing. Ray tracing is a complete game changer because it can get you closer to cycles quality with a much shorter rendering time. This of course sounds like a huge improvement and I decided to put this new render engine to test and see just how close we can get to cycles. For this test I created a custom scene that will really put new EV to the test. We'll test its limits, we'll test just how fast it is, let's see what we can get. Okay so this is the scene I created for a test and yeah it doesn't look like much, it actually looks fairly simple so you might ask what is the real challenge here and don't worry, I will show you in a minute. This is something that I first rendered in cycles with 1500 samples. So this is how the final render looks like. Uh, there is a lot going on. When you look at the details, there is uh, dust particles, dust and hair particles all over the place on the items. I added those to like add on photorealism. You can see it on the console, on the remote control on this table like literal, literally everywhere also we have a mist like volumetric mist that fills up the whole scene we have this furby toy with thousands of hairs it's a particle system which is really challenging for rendering even four cycles we also have this very narrow depth of field you can see elements blurred out in the background and in the foreground this is something that EV really used to struggle with and yeah just overall very very heavy scene for rendering especially because of the fog it's volumetric fog this specific image rendered for 16 minutes which is like a lot and you can forget about animation with this scene in cycles because you don't want really one frame to render for 16 minutes so yeah our goal is to see if we if we can get close to this with new EV. So let's go. Okay, so let's switch our render engine to EV. It doesn't say EV next, but it is EV next. But trust me, you will see very soon that it is. And these are the default settings. And for a test, let's just render first image with default settings. See what we can get. Okay, so this is what we got after 1 minute and 17 seconds. Yeah, you might say that this is already a lot. Like, you expect for EV to spit out image in like 3 to 4 seconds. Especially with this level of quality. But don't forget that we have volumetric mist and like tons of particles everywhere in the scene. So yeah, this is why it's a bit slow it doesn't really have any shadows or anything let's see how it compares to cycles it doesn't it's not even comparable but that's that's to be expected with the with the basic settings so let's let's fix settings a bit and see them okay first i'm going to pump up rendering samples to 128 just to have more samples to work with I will turn on the shadows and ray tracing that's it for now I'm not going to go really deep into this just to see what we can get with just checking ray tracing really and shadows so yeah let's get render okay this is what we got after 1 minute and 57 seconds so almost 2 minutes but we have a lot more details in this image we also have ray tracing already working you can see that uh, this furby toy is actually reflecting its color on the near object which is this nintendo console and overall so much more details in the scene like this was before and this is after you can also notice on the fur here how much more details we have now this is of course cycles and we are not even close to cycles but came a long way from this to this 
and you can notice that we still only have shadows like realistic shadows but we'll fix this in the next step so let's go and to add those shadows that we are missing we need to go into settings of our light source i only have one light source which is one spotlight and here in the shadows this, ne this needs to be checked i'll turn on jitter option and this resolution limit i will decrease all the way down and let's see after this what, what we are getting and after one minute and 45 seconds this is the image that we ended up with i think it's a huge improvement compared to the previous one just see it has those nice soft shadows and if you take a look at the fur here you will see that it now has much more depth of course because of the shadows and i also think that we also and i think that we got dangerously close to cycles not with details on the fur that's not comparable but just overall image i mean just look at this it's amazing for eevee with just a couple of tweaks on in settings we got this so from this to this and to this and i'm still in shock really what you can get with this new ev engine but yeah let, let's get even closer to cycles let's let's fix settings a bit more so for this image i will we just go and pump up all the settings like details in the shadow volume shadows why not increase the steps all the way to the max uh, now let's see what ray tracing has right now the resolution is set to 50 percent and really 100 percent resolution max for the max roughness we want to go all the way to the one which means basically that ray tracing will work on objects that has that have roughness of one and it will be more precise let's also bump up the precision all the way to the one and one thing that i discovered that worked best for my scene for the thickness is to set it at 60 at 60 meters now i don't really understand this this value this is just something that i discovered that works best for the specific scene that i'm working in and i couldn't really find documentation on this so this is yet to be discovered what it really does okay and for fast gi approximation we will also bump up the resolution all the way to 100 percent also the race and the steps uh, precision again all the way to the one and i'm not going to tweak any of these settings for the volumes i will choose to render on 50 percent resolution and really bump up the steps distribution is actually the way to increase sample numbers closer to the camera so we will bump it all the way to the one and for the depth we will We'll leave it in this. This is already maximum. I will also go and increase maximum size of pixels for for depth of field for for blur effect. And yeah, I think that we pretty much maxed out all the settings. So I'm expecting this to to render a bit slower. But yeah, let's let's get to it okay so this is what we got after four minutes and 34 seconds this is previous version and this is now you can tell that now we have a lot more of pink color reflected on the, on the console here compared to the previous image you can see it looks a bit unrealistic but i guess this is because we increased the precision of, of ray tracking and yeah four minutes and 34 seconds is a lot of time still 
so so i decided to actually decrease some steps in in volume settings and we got this image which is fairly good still and it's rendered in one minute and 50 seconds which is really really good really good one minute and 50 seconds for this image is is just amazing and this is cycles of course cycles looks much much better but really one minute 50 seconds 16 minutes i think that i'm definitely going to make little animation with this scene to test ev further but so far guys this is this is something that i never expected really just just look at this <laughs> 